Alright guys, this is my new Android stereo for my 2014 Toyota Corolla. Right now it's booting up, it takes about 30 seconds. And as you can see by the home screen, it's got a couple of functions. It's got navigation built in, radio, and a working backup camera that works with the uh, stock uh, backup camera and the wiring harness that comes with the car. we deserve and for believers that's the love of God who is just an unmerited love who comes down this is the uh, stock radio app the steering wheel controls for the car work perfectly fine with this head unit uh, as you can see the volume works fine uh, changing the channel this is uh, scanning and I think presets yeah the up and down arrow are presets We've suffered this season. His last three starts, Trevor Bauer had given up 15 runs. That was an 11 innings of work. Check swing and a be like they too much. That's different. That brings up McCain. So, I want to emphasize that I use a lot of religious terms. Mm -hmm. But the book's not a religious book. There's a lot of religious characters, a lot of non religious characters. So, to exit the radio app, you hit this back button right here. Um, if you don't hit that button, if you go straight home, it will not exit the radio app. So, let's hit this button here. Now, it does come with root built in. You just have to enter a code in the settings here. Down here, you enter in um, a special code. You can find that on the forums, and it will give you root access for one device reboot. You can also change your settings in this control panel here by entering the passcode 126. And this will allow you to change the boot logo, the radio bands, and various other things you probably don't want to mess with these. These buttons here are RGB, so you can change the color right here. You just modify these values. And now if you can see, these are red. Or green, or you can hit this button here to make it uh, cycle through all the colors slowly. I like to keep it blue because the rest of the car's accent match that color. As always, uh, Google Maps works fine, as long as you have an internet connection. You can buy a USB dongle that will give you uh, 3G internet access, but you'll need a, a separate data plan for that. Uh, it costs typically around 20 to $35. Dollars. There is an AV input and there is a separate uh, wiring harness that comes with this kit that allows you to plug in any uh, composite video device with uh, left and right channel audio so for example if you wanted to uh, uh, plug in a PlayStation 3 or a Nintendo 64 you could and you can route all the wires into the, uh, the glove box here now I'm going to go ahead and start the car and show you what the backup camera looks like So there's the view from the backup camera. Um, as you can see, it's pretty. The screen is pretty big, so you get a lot more detail uh, compared to the smaller screen 
on the OEM head unit. It comes with a uh, built-in web browser. This is just your stock Android web browser. This unit has built-in GPS, so you can you don't need uh, to turn on Wi-Fi or have a data plan to navigate. You can use offline GPS apps um, like TomTom. Tom. There is a uh, an Android app for TomTom, Tom, and you don't need internet access to uh, navigate. As you can see here, there are there is a dis there is a display for the heating and air conditioning that corresponds to the display below. There is one small bug though. The temperature does not match up with the temperature on the screen here. And all the door notifications work, so if you open your left door, it will show you there. I think, let's see if the trunk works. Okay, there's a notification for the trunk as well. There are other apps that allow you to get miles per gallon information, just like the stock head unit. So if you go into history, you can see all the previous information for your trips in miles per gallon. It doesn't give you a lot of information, it doesn't tell you specifically what miles per gallon you got, but there's just a general scale there. This does have Bluetooth functionality. The head unit comes with a microphone. It isn't a really great microphone, so I suggest getting like a USB one or um, just a better one that plugs into a 3.5 millimeter uh, TRS connection. This does have Bluetooth though. And you can play music from your phone. Any Android or iPhone device will work. And right now I will pair with that phone. So as you can see, these lit up, so you have all your functionality for your dialer, your contacts, your recent calls, your music, um, search functionality, oh, paired devices. And if you go onto your phone, you can just start playing music. And you can play and pause your music by hitting these buttons here. This is always in the Bluetooth app right here, or here. And there is an option for a USB, um, I believe, a dash cam, but I already have a dash cam installed. Uh, what what the dash cam you can buy it will communicate directly with this head unit and it will record using the head unit with this app right here i've downloaded this app called automate what it does is essentially mimic the features of android auto so you have your home button here calls navigation um starred which allows you to access all your apps too. This is this is basically like a launcher. Okay, so you can just pick through your apps like if it were just a regular launcher. And this gives you your navigation. 
you can show your current location, search, or uh, navigate. And it's persistent in the background, so you can, this is how you exit it right there. This unit does have a micro SD slot here. Uh, right now I have a 32 gig uh, class 10 micro SD card. Uh, it comes with a, uh, a class 6 8 gigabyte card, uh, which has the uh, GPS maps loaded onto it, uh, preloaded. Here's all the information about the GPS satellites. It can tell you uh, which ones are being seen, so you can troubleshoot uh, if you're not, if your uh, GPS antenna isn't connected properly. This option here, um, if you're in drive, uh, occasionally if you try to watch a video, it will not uh, let you. So if you check this box, you can watch a video while you're driving. I think also you can mirror the reverse image with these options here. I haven't actually tried this. Let me try it right now. So, as it's set right now, there is no reversing tra trajectory display. I'm going to reverse, and there is that display, which is, I think, the OEM display for trajectory, and it doesn't move, I don't think. So if I turn it on, let's see if it does anything. Oh, wow. So I'm turning the steering wheel right now, and it's actually showing me where I'm going to be backing up. That is really neat. Um, as you know, the, the Toyota Corolla and the stockhead unit, um, it just features this, this display right here and it doesn't give you trajectory information. So what this head unit is doing is reading the CAN bus information, which is showing its uh, current steering wheel position and uh, giving you a heads up display where you're going to be reversing, which is just a great feature. Unfortunately, the uh, the other display is built into there. It's uh, burned into the camera's head unit display. So these are your amplifier settings. I wouldn't suggest turning on this loud because it introduces a lot of uh, noise into the signal. But um, it does feature a lot of the uh, default customizations that you can modify on the stock head unit. Uh, for example, you have a equalizer. Uh, the I think the stock unit uh, only has a three-band equalizer. This one has a uh, nine-band, yes, nine-band equalizer with presets. So you got all these. Here we have the uh, fader. You can change where this is going. So right now I have my subwoofer hooked up into the rear speakers so if I wanted to make the subwoofer louder I could just point these back here and the sound would go straight to the subwoofer which is a speaker right here you can set your steering wheel keys here so if you don't want one of your buttons for example to hit the next song if you want to assign it to something else um, you can you can do that here There's a super user app. 
This gives you full root access. And here's the information about this head unit. Model number S07, HCT MCU, Android 4.4.4, uh, built July 8th, 2015. This is the uh, quad-core model with one gig of RAM. And if you read the listing for from uh, Alibaba or eBay, you'll notice that the, the listing says that it's only a dual core. Uh, but all these units do appear to come with a quad-core processor and a gig of RAM. So I think that's about it. Um, now let me tell you about the first one that I received. Uh, the first one I received had a problem where if you try to uh, listen to music or anything, the speakers would pop occasionally every five or ten minutes. Um, I believe on hotter days it would pop even more frequently, so I think it might have been a capacitor issue. Anyway, I contacted the seller and they uh, just had me troubleshoot a little bit, update the firmware, see if it was a firmware issue. But it was a hardware issue, so uh, they had me send it back. They sent me a prepaid shipping label and they sent me a new one from China. It took about a week. So this unit here, no issues at all, um, no popping or anything, uh, except for that bug with the uh, AC temperature not being right. It's mostly bug free. Occasionally you will see uh, some application crashes, but I think that's normal with uh, most Android head units. Other than that, I, I really do like this head unit. Oh, another thing, this power button here, what it does is when you hit this button, it will actually stay on for 30 seconds and you can hear a fan in the back. Uh, so this unit does have a fan to uh, get rid of a lot of the heat from the amplifier. And after about 30 seconds, the fan will just turn off. But in the meantime, you can just turn it back on and it'll be quick. And see, uh, sometimes this crashes. There is a reset button here. You can uh, stick a paper clip in there if it freezes up. Volume controls are here. And recent applications button here. So yeah, I mean, it's a pretty good head unit. Has Wi-Fi. And tethering. If you get a 3G dongle, you can make your own Wi-Fi hotspot. Thanks for watching, guys.